We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is, from Miller's, it is Banana Pepper Habanero. I said in the hot one, if I could chase this down somewhere, I would definitely pick it up. And I really actually found this randomly, almost by chance. So, it goes well with cheese and pretzels, burgers, barbecue and more. So... It is available in Mild and Hot. We have seen the hot already. You guys can check out the mustard playlist if you're interested in seeing that. It has a much more orangey color than did the the regular hot version of this. I this is a pretty sauce. I like this sauce. It looks it looks good. It's very very appealing. So we have the usual vinegar, sugar, peppers, water, mustard seed, and then we get into cornstarch, salt, turmeric. Paprika, vitamin C, and pepper, paprika extract. Paprika, I would presume, is the coloring agent here, what they tried to go with. So, and see, it's. I don't know that I'm ever going to be getting another banana pepper mustard, though, after this, because honestly, this, the gloppy nature of this, I. I really struggled to get past this with with all the uh, cornstarch in there, and I, I don't understand why that's a thing. You can see it is not quite as gloppy as the church cheese; it's a little bit smoother, but you can see it definitely has some glop to it. You can see it; they got a very jelloish vibe here. Obviously it has gelatin and not cornstarch, but just really a gorgeous sauce. So very pretty. Lots of little bits of peppers and other things in there. I don't know. The banana, the red I was presuming is is the habanero. I don't actually know that for sure. I suppose it could be red banana peppers as well. Smells just divine though. And you can see I've already busted into this a little bit. Should try to get uh, try to get some of that action going. And I will show you actually what I've done with that momentarily. But first, let's go with this solo. Just a lot of pepper in there. But I mean, as as far as pieces. It's so like they put that in a blender, threw the habaneros in there with the banana pepper, and that's kind of the base of this, is what it seems like to me. I love banana peppers, and the flavor of this is never the problem. There's a little bit of very, very minor back end heat. I'm going to call this a default one. It's not quite a legit one yet, but we'll keep going with it. This by far is the best of the banana pepper mustards I've had, this uh, habanero. If you can find this one, and you're, you're, just, you're interested in trying out, and you have less of a problem with cornstarch than I do, but if you're interested in trying out a banana pepper mustard, I would say get this one, it is fantastic. I like this actually quite a lot. So, I know that it works well trying to make a Cubano. Right, the, the passing at a Cubano, I've tried to do in some of the other videos. This type of mushroom works very, very well with pork. So, I've tried to think of where I haven't really done anything with mustard yet. Most of the time, I use it as strictly a condiment. I, I think that's generally where it gets used, actually, by and large, with everybody the most. But... 
I started thinking about it and I said, okay, well, what if, what if, what if I tried to grill with it? And that's what we have here. So this is basically a uh, cube pork. It's a cube steak. It's a cube steak of pork rather than beef. And beef is, of course, as we know, not really my preference, but also it's very, very expensive. I actually like this better than hamburgers. I think actually I might be getting some of this just as just straight up cube steak of pork and using that in favor of hamburgers, like actual ground beef for hamburgers. I think I might be doing that going forward. I, I really, really like how this came out. So, uh, okay, let's see. So trying it on the grill, I was wondering, because there is sugar in this, and I thought, well, is it going to be enough to actually, you know, caramelize a bit? And you can see on the edges it looked like it did. It did get some caramelization going there. So this is just, I actually grilled it. I just layered. Uh, if you want to see what I do with the sauces, you can look at the uh, K. John's uh, bourbon infused chipotle habanero video. Which is, there's not a lot I do. You know, I, I let the meat come up to as close to room temperature as I can. And then I just basically pour the sauce on it. Put that, put that down, down on the grill. And then sometimes I actually will grill it plain first and then add the sauce layer. Just kind of depends. But lately what I've been doing is putting the sauce on one side, face down. And then putting the sauce on the underside, letting it sit and warm up, and then flipping that over as well. And then I I don't generally add sauce to things again unless it's barbecue. So I'm trying to go for a little bit different effect there. But with this one, I was trying to figure out if there actually was enough sugar in there for this to make sense on the grill. And I also tried it, uh, I didn't have enough to actually put that in a video, but I did try it with the Pepper Joe's uh, mustard as well. Both of which are sweeter mustards. Um, so anyway, that out of the way, let's uh, let's see how it does just as a grill sauce by itself. Definitely, these are a bit drier than the ground beef usually tends to be. A really good chew though. It's nice and tender. It's the first time I've had cube steak from pork, so I'm doing two things at once this time. So this doesn't really read. So let's throw some on. I can't get over the glop. I used to sauce, I used to sauce, re-sauce actually when I was growing, but, you know, hot sauce is expensive these days, and I kind of feel like if I want a grill sauce, I either should just make one or buy one. You know, this is, this is not my doing it with, this is like three or four bucks for a bottle of this, but then you look at something like, you know, 10 ounce bottle. <clears throat> then you look at something like pretty much any hot sauce and the starting point for a lot of those, you know, is 10 bucks and it goes up from there. You can't be feeding the grill trough at the bottom with sauces endlessly like that. It's just, you're, you're essentially just wasting sauce at that point, so. But I do like to test them to see how they do as grill sauces. Some of them do pretty well. Uh, there's another one, the Jersey Barn Fire Roasted Peach. I had a question about it. I tried that one. Pretty predictable. As expected, it lost almost all of the uh, subtleties in the flavor. It did retain a bit of the heat, though. Which is a bit unusual to eat it like that. All right, so... This is such a good mustard. I really like the flavor of this. 
I, get, I was going to try to see if I could get a burn out of it, wasn't I? I forgot the mission. Forgot the mission. There we go. We got a glop on each of these. Fantastic report. Goes together extremely, extremely well. But you out of the way. All right. Mm, man, they they hit it. Almost exactly right as far as flavor goes on this. Really, really well done. I just hate the consistency. It throws me off because the mouth feels like pudding. Really delicious though. Man. Flavor wise, this would surely be Probably in my top three or four, maybe uh, maybe five of mustards I have, and I haven't as many mustards as sauces. I think probably mustards I've had 65, 70 mustards maybe. Maybe a little bit more. Certainly nowhere, nowhere near what sauces is. Hundreds of those. Thousands of general spicy products. It's really a shame. I was hoping a lot of that, that we were still retaining some of the flavor, but a lot of the Pudding consistency might go away. Or melt or something, I don't know. I'm not a big cornstarch fan. I almost wonder if I can get a legit one out of this. In terms of heat. You probably not. It's hard to tell because it tapers off really quickly. Definitely a default one, though. I mean, as a spicy mustard, very solid, no complaints. Like I said, flavor is not the issue with me and Miller's and other banana peppers. The flavor, and this one is particularly great. It's a consistency. It's just. Mustard is pudding, I just, I can't, it's too jarring. I can't wrap my head around it, I guess. Anyway, though, this is the best version as far as I'm concerned of banana pepper mustards. There is, you know, I, you know, let's take another crack at this. It, it's so odd, because I'm getting, Inconsistent heat here. Let's just have another spoon and see if we can push it over. I'm not going to get a chance to eat this on food. I'm just going to eat it <laughs> in a spoon. Pudding! For the video. Yeah, I just don't think it's ever going to get there. Definitely a default one with some very, very nice back end burn. Well, it's pleasant. It's it's like um, you know when it starts to get chilly in the fall and you put like a really light blanket on, cover your legs or whatever, kind of like that. Very very low level, very just just pleasant. It's 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 a nice burn. It's it's an okay burn. It's not gonna. It probably be more than a lot of people that are non chili heads are expecting. It might be more than even chili heads are expecting, but it'll be a happy surprise for them. It, it's just not... It's a default one pushing a one, I guess. Very delayed, very a very, very habanero type burn, though. So, if somebody doesn't understand what the delayed 
burn of a habanero is this is actually a really good mustard. It demonstrates that very, very capably. It's not very particularly hot at all up front, but you've got a sort of a nice build uh, that's delayed a little bit. But again, it like I said, it's very, very soothing, very comforting. It's like, you know, it's like maybe a desk. You're sitting on the porch and you just get a nice light breeze coming through. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing to just, you know, make you bat in the hatches or anything like that. Just a very nice, casual, just a, you know, just a little wave of coolness. Kind of like that. Very, very, very low key. Yeah, very low key. But uh, I like it. I, I like the flavor. I, I can't get past that pudding. <laughs> the the cornstarch, I, I just wish it wasn't there. But the flavor is just totally impressive. Again, this is, like I said, my pick of the best banana pepper mustard I think I've had. And probably my top five, easily my top five, actually, of mustards ever. So, But there it is. Miller's Banana Pepper Habanero Mustard. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.